If you're trying to understand what TORA, TODA, ASDA and LDA are, this is the video for you. Let's jump into it. Hi there, it's Gabriel here from pilotclimb.com. I'm a trainer captain of the Boeing 737. And if you are trying to become a better pilot, consider subscribing to the channel where you can get free pilot training content every day. Without further ado, let's jump right into the topic. So, before understanding what are these declared distance, the TORA, TODA, ASDA, and LDA are, we have to understand the meaning of clearway, stopway, and display thresholds. What are them? If you look at the whiteboard here, I depicted the clearway here, all right, this area in here, this is a clearway, and the clearway is basically an area clear of, of, of obstacle that is unprepared, so the clearway could be even over the water. The important thing is not what you find in the surface of the clearway, but the important thing is that there are no obstacles, because the clearway is used to help the aircraft to start the initial climb, okay? So over the clearway, the aircraft should not be touching the ground but actually flying over the clearway. That's why it's not important to get a prepared uh, surface but the only thing is it has to be clear of obstacle. Clearway normally is indicated by the synonym CWY as you can see in there. Then we've got the stopway. The stopway is a portion of the runway that normally is asphalt and is used for emergency uh, cases. So let's say you are taking off, then you reject the takeoff because you have some problems and the stopway is the portion of the runway that you can use to stop your aircraft after you aborted the takeoff. Okay, so then we've got the display threshold as you can see here. This is another part of the runway that is used to help out to increase the, the takeoff distance. Okay, so if you are taking off, you can use the display threshold in order to start your takeoff. So you gonna have more runway available in front of you. All right, so I hope these three distinctions are clear, so now we can move on. Again, if you have any question, just drop me a comment below regarding this place, stretch, or stop, way and clear. But even during the video, if there is something that is not clear for you, just drop me a comment and I will help you out, okay? So now that we know what these trees are, what we're gonna do, I want to make sure that we understand that every runway, okay, has, has got two directions for takeoff and landing. So every airport has got kind of a true runway. If you look on the on the whiteboard here, okay, you got the runway 09er in this case and the runway 27, okay. This is one airport with two different directions for takeoff and landing and they are always like that, okay. So as you can see from the whiteboard here, we need to understand the, the, the declared distance, the TORA, TODA, as the LDA for each runway because as we said before we could have clear waves stop waves and the space thresholds but we could even not have them not all of the runways directions they have clear waves stop waves and display thresholds so if you have an airport without clear wave, for example your distance is gonna be reduced okay so now let's jump into the declared distance okay so TORA, as you can see in here, I've got TORA for runway 09, and in fact I made a picture, a uh, arrow in there, okay? So you've got the TORA for runway 09 and the TORA for runway 27, okay? So as you can see, that TORA is the distance, in this case let's talk about the 09 TORA, is the distance from the threshold all the way down to the other end of the runway, the other end of the threshold or the end of the display threshold, if that's the case, okay? In in fact, in this case, as you can see, for runway 27, the TORA will be from the display threshold all the way down to the end of the runway, okay? So this is the TORA, takeoff runway available. And the takeoff runway as available is that distance that you need to use for the rotation, okay? To reach the unstick speed you know, uh, for the takeoff run. It's actually the distance that the airplane has available for the takeoff run, okay? The distance on the ground, okay? Then we've got the ASDA, also called uh, uh, Accelerated Stop Distance available. We've got again an ASDA for runway 09er and an ASDA for runway 27, okay? So as you can see here, this distance is different if you compare the ASDA for 09er and the ASDA for 27 because the Accelerated Stop Distance available is the distance from the threshold or the displaced threshold 
all the way down to the end of the runway or to the end of the stopway if available. In this case, if you look at the picture here, we've got runway 09, the ASDA for runway 09, this one, starts from the threshold and it goes and it goes all the way down to the stopway okay so here we go so that's the stopway okay so as you can see it an aircraft has got the asda for the aircraft will start from here and it will be all the way down to here okay this is gonna be the asda for runway uh, zero zero nine -er. but the asda for runway zero uh, sorry two seven is gonna be shorter because it will start from the threshold as you can see the green arrow there and it will end up at the end of the runway at the end of the other threshold why because there is no stopway for runway to seven but again this is an example you might find airports where you've got stopways on both sides you might find airports without stopways it really depends on the airport's characteristics the straight stop distance available is the distance that you have available for the takeoff run all the way down to the v1 and then stop the aircraft in case that of a jet takeoff so let's say you are taking off for runway zero nine looking at the whiteboard you arrive in here then at V1, let's say in here, you have a problem, you reject takeoff, and you can use all this runway all the way down to the end of the stopway to stop your aircraft. If you don't know what V1 is, I made a separate video and I'll try to link the video in the description below. All right, so now we've got the takeoff distance available. So the takeoff distance available is the distance available to the pilots, to you in this case, from the starting of the takeoff all the way down to the takeoff run to the rotation and then to transit into the initial climb phases okay so normally you should get by the end of the clearway if available a screen 8 over the clearway and have a minimum speed that should be v2 so in this case as you can see in the picture let's talk about the TODA the takeoff distance available for runway 09 and it goes from the threshold so from here all the way down to the clearway you see? So it's a very long toddler in this case, takeoff distance available for runway 09. However, since the runway 27 doesn't have a clear way available, the takeoff distance available for the runway 27 will be from the displaced threshold from here and all the way down to the end of the runway only because there are there is no clear way available fantastic then the last one is the landing distance available and the landing distance available as you can already imagine is the distance available for landing to you so what happened is that the distance should be normally from the threshold all the way down to the other threshold in case you have a displaced threshold you can use that as in order to stop the air the airplane but you cannot land into the displaced threshold area so as you as you as we said here we've got the displaced threshold area and as you can see for runway 27 the landing distance available will start from the threshold all the way down to the end of the other runway okay so the difference between the landing distance available of runway 27 and runway 09 is the following as you can see the runway 09 landing distance will be from here all the way down to the display threshold okay because you can use the display threshold area for the landing purpose when you're stopping the aircraft but you cannot do the touchdown on the display threshold area i hope this video was clear for you if you have any question just leave a comment below and then i will answer you also if you really if you're trying to get and become a better pilot consider subscribing to the channel i'm gonna make a, a video every day so you will not miss the next one also you can go to paloclimb.com where i'm building up a website where you can subscribe for free pilot training content and i'll see you the next one